All right, all right, so here we go, here we go. Um, so this question is a question about uh, minimizing packaging costs. And they give us some key pieces of information. Um, the first key piece of information is that we have a capacity of uh, 136 um, cubic inches and we have a surface well rather a um, cube or this side is x this side right here is also x but the height is y and so we have this cube right here And what they're asking us to find right here is what, uh, so what are the dimensions of a closed or rectangular box that has a square cross section, i.e. these two parts are the same and a capacity of 136 inches and is constructed using the least amount of material. to solve a question like this right here, you have to find the interplay between your restriction, i.e. 136 inches, and finding, um, excuse me, <coughs> the least amount of material. When they're talking about the least amount of material, what they're talking about is the surface area. And the surface area for rectangular body is given by the formula two times the length times the width plus two times the length times the height plus two times the um, width times the height. I.e. Um, you're finding each of the flat surfaces area for each of those and adding them up. In this case, if we call X the um, length, this X right here, the width and Y the height, um, the area will be the formula length times width, so 2x squared, plus length times height, 2xy, plus width times height, 2xy, which gives us a formula of 2x squared plus 4xy. The problem that we have right here is to minimize or maximize, we have to take the derivative and then set that equal to zero, but we have two variables, x and y. And so we have to get rid of one of those variables, and that's where the capacity comes in. The capacity is the measurement of volume. And so the volume is equal to length times width times height. And so that's going to be x times x times y, which is going to be x squared y. But we have the restriction, i.e. we know what the volume is, and that volume is going to be 136 cubic inches. And thus, we can solve for y. If I divide by x squared, I get that y is equal to 136 divided by x squared. So now that I know this for the value for y, I can substitute it into the area that I need to minimize, and then I can solve that equation. So the old area formula used to be x squared plus 4xy. The new area formula is going to be 2x squared plus 4x, and I'm going to change y. I'm going to write it as 136 over x squared. Simplifying, that's going to be 2x squared um, plus the x's will cancel. 4 times 136 is 4 times 144. So that's going to be 4 times 136, 544 over x after I simplify. And that right here is my area formula. Now to minimize or maximize, it's the same steps. 
I have to set the formula, um, take the derivative of the formula, and then set that equal to zero. And the resulting value for x will be the value that either maximizes or minimizes, in this case right here, my surface area. So take the derivative. Oh, before I can take the derivative, I will rewrite the equation. 5, 4, 4, x to the negative 1. So a prime is going to be 4x minus 5, 44, x to the negative 2. So that's going to be 4x minus 5, 44 over x squared. And now I need to set the answer, the, der the derivative equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 4x minus 5, 44 over x squared. I'm going to take the 5, 44 over. So 5, 44 over x squared is equal to 4x. I am going to multiply both sides by x squared to cancel the denominator. 5, 44 is equal to 4x cubed. I'm going to divide by 4. 544 divided by um, 4 is, 130, is 136. And then I take the cube root. And the cube root of 136 is 5.14 approximately. And this right here would be the length of x. Now, to find the length of y, I go back to the relationship of x and y. This right here is the relationship. And so y is going to be equal to 136 divided by um, 5.14 squared and it turns out that gives us the same answer 5.14 and so it turns out that the most efficient packaging is a cube where x y x and y are the same all three sides are the same all right good luck